Hello, people, and we have an interesting political situation on our hands. You know, crypto super PACs have traditionally backed Republicans when it's Republican versus Democrat, but it seems like the biggest one, Fair Shake Super PAC, has actually turned the corner and started backing Democrats in several of the states. And two of the most important ones, and these are Senate races, they are backing uh, Democrats in both um, Michigan and Arizona. Now, the Senate race is very, very close. It's 51-49 right now. And this money could actually determine which party controls the Senate. So a, pro, a leading pro-crypto political group has dumped millions of dollars into high-profile Michigan and Arizona Senate races to back Democrats against Donald Trump-endorsed candidates. So not only Republican candidates, but Trump-endorsed candidates. And that has angered Republicans who viewed the industry as an ally, not an opponent. But I don't really think the crypto industry sees it that way. They kind of see like how the regulations are going right now. And they probably see it much like I do that. It doesn't really matter all that much which party wins as long as they have their money in their pockets. And they're probably just hedging their bets on which candidate or which person running for office um, they think will actually win each election. So Fair, pa Fair Shake PAC and its affiliated Super PACs are reserving millions in advertising spending to influence three U.S. Senate races this cycle. I will say the Republicans may be more favorable than the Democrats to um, crypto, but the thing is, like, the ones in Arizona and Michigan are probably fairly crypto on the Democratic side as well. So they want to donate to the campaign who's more likely to win because those are the ones that are um, going to be determining policy. You don't want to dump millions of dollars into a campaign that's uh, likely to lose because that would anger the other side that would win. And then you could get someone that's very, very much against your policy. So they are, instead of Kerry Lake, they're supporting Ruben Gallego. Um, Lake is a very controversial candidate. If you don't know, read the stuff on Lake. I'm not going to repeat it here. Um, but they are actually like going against Kerry Lake for Ruben Gallego. I think since Harris came into the campaign, the down ballot actually changed a lot. And I think Gallego actually does have a small advantage on Lake right now. So they obviously want to support the candidate that's more likely to win. And if Kerry Lake is not likely to win, even if they pour a lot of money into her campaign, um, they don't want an enemy in Congress. They would rather have an ally. And they're also um, so supporting Alyssa Slotkin, a candidate in Michigan, it said on Wednesday. So these are obviously like pro-crypto Democrats that voted with the Republicans on stuff like Fit21 or neutral Democrats that don't have much uh, of a leaning on this. And they want to support these Democrats so they either are more pro-crypto or uh, get a lean crypto thing, um, uh, getting a more a lean crypto policy. They know that GOP as a whole overall is going to be pro crypto, regardless of how these candidates do. Donald Trump himself has made like, you know, seven, eight million dollars doing NFTs and stuff. And uh, he's really trying to rally the crypto industry behind him. So the spending risks upending GOP efforts to secure seats in two key battleground states in the fight for control of the Senate and comes as top Republicans amid a very hostile regulatory environment have leveraged their political capital to broker closer ties to the crypto industry. But I think like, you know, since the whole like crypto for Harris thing and like since Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi both came out in favor of crypto, I think like super PACs like Fair Shake are basically saying it doesn't really matter. We just need to donate to the candidates that are likely to win because even if they're from the opposing party, as long as crypto has their uh, money in the pockets of these candidates, they'll kind of like follow our marching orders. When asked for a comment, the Fair Shake referred NBC News to Slotkin and Gallagher's current A ratings from Stand with Crypto. So they're definitely Democrats that are more pro, uh, more pro crypto. A nonprofit group advertising for the crypto industry, both Democrats this year crossed party lines to support a historic crypto bill being Fit 21. So I feel like if Fair Shake actually thinks that Democrats can actually win this election, they will actually swap funding to the Democratic side because they believe that uh, if they donate money to the Democrats, they will actually get favorable rulings as well. Because a lot of times, like right now, crypto is becoming more of and more of a bipartisan issue. You see, like um, to repeal SAB 121 and for Fair Shake and for uh, and for Fit 21, a lot of the Democrats ended up crossing over, and more and more Democrats, I think in their view, will actually cross over, especially if they don't piss them off and donate all the money to the GOP. So it looks like Fair Shake is actually going to help the Democrats uh, keep control of the Senate. And they're going to uh, donate to people that are more likely to win. Um, 
as long as they believe that they are not completely anti-crypto. So obviously, they're not going to they're not going to like, you know, donate to Elizabeth Warren's campaign obviously, but Ruben Gallego, uh, Slotkin, they can actually do that as well. For it, for years, Slotkin has expressed expressed skepticism of cryptocurrency until an apparent change of heart in recent months. That apparent change of heart, like many politicians, probably comes in the form of much super PAC money. The Michigan lawmaker earned an F rating from Stand with Crypto as recently as March, but now it's A because he actually voted on both those um, issues along with the Republicans. Gallagher, who is facing off against Republican Kerry Lake, which is also a very, very close election, has failed in the past to back legislation that was supported by the crypto industry and in 2022 praised, social media, uh, uh, praised on social media a candidate who slayed the crypto beast. Last year, Gallagher signed on to a letter spearheaded by Elizabeth Warren to address crypto finance reforms, crediting her as an outspoken advocate for regulation oversight of crypto. He has also criticized business owners like Elon Musk for pushing Bitcoin and profiting off of cryptocurrency. Uh, and um, signed on to legislation perceived as hostile by industries in the past. But that all changed earlier this year with the formation of the super PAC. So obviously, money talks, and Gallego did actually cross um, the aisle and uh, vote and voted for crypto. So in terms of like crypto being like a party thing, I mean, there is Elizabeth Warren's like influence, but realistically, most Democrats don't really have a stance on the issue. And if the super PAC starts donating the Democratic Party money, they can be sw uh, uh, shifted over. So basically, Fair Shake is actually say seeing that. And they're basically donating like for races that are important to the Democrats. So like their assumption is Trump and the GOP will be fairly uh, warm to crypto overall because they've donated to the Trump campaign. But in certain races, they want to donate to the Democratic side because those candidates are more palpable and are more likely to win. And they'll be pro-crypto if they win anyways. So a spokesperson for Fair Shake, Josh Vlasto, said in a statement that the Super PAC and his affiliates were working to support candidates who embrace innovation, want to protect American jobs, are committed to working across the aisle to get things done and oppose those who do not. So they actually don't really care who, uh, which party they actually support as long as the candidates, uh, A, they think they're going to win and B, support crypto because you don't really want to donate to a hopeless candidate because then you're just pissing off the other side and it make things uh, worse for you. So essentially, they're spending like, you know, $5 million or something on these candidates, which is a lot for like a Senate race. And this is pissing off the uh, Republicans, obviously. Um, and of course, like, you know, some of the Republican aides are saying like, it's surprising that whoever is advising Sheriff Fair Shake has come up with a, uh, the same flawed strategy. One GOP strategist involved in Senate races warned that the spending risks hurting Trump as well as his allies are being attacked. So obviously they don't want the other side getting money, but I do think the crypto super PACs are looking at a more big picture type of thing. They don't actually care which party wins as long as their people actually get in place. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.